Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm waking up in the Anza Borrego Desert State Park, and we're gonna be riding over to Julian, California to get some of my favorite apple pie from Julian Pie Company. After that, we're gonna do a little bit of exploring in the area, and finally ending up at a abandoned highway uh, to hopefully do some camping over there. So it should be a pretty good day. I'm really stoked about getting some Julian Pie. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite pie. Uh, I've ever had. It's just so, so amazing. So I'm really excited about that. So let's get going. Okay, so I just finished packing up camp and I'm ready to hit the road. I am uh, heading over to Julian. I think I'm about 20 miles away from Julian. Uh, and then the pie company is just outside of town. So should be there in about a half hour or so. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold up there because it is in the mountains and uh, it was pretty cold the other day when I was up in the mountains so hopefully it's not too bad. Julian Pie Company now. I am super excited. I absolutely love this apple pie. Not sure if I mentioned that yet. Good, it doesn't look too crowded, so that's good. Yeah, not too crowded at all.
I'm off to a coffee shop. I have to upload a video and do a little bit of work on my computer. Oh, and I took a wrong turn. All right, I think I'm on track now. All right. Yeah, I'm going to a coffee shop real quick. Uh, should be there in about 40 minutes. Boy, that pie was so good, though. I could never get enough of that. I'm glad I don't live too close to it, though, because I'd probably go there every weekend and ruin it for myself. It's like the perfect distance away uh, from where I live. So this here is downtown Julian. Um, where I get the pie, I think that's actually in Santa Isabella. Uh, but this is downtown Julian anyway. Really cool little town uh, in the mountains. I'll just show you a little bit of this on the way out. So there's all like cute shops and uh, other places to get apple pie. Uh, grocery store mercantile just a neat little mountain town I used to come here a lot when I lived in San Diego and we'd walk around this area So this behind me is Lake Cuyamaca. Uh, it's a pretty big lake. I haven't really been over here too much, even when I lived in San Diego. Um, I didn't come out this way too often, maybe once or twice really. Uh, it's beautiful. It's a little bit chilly up here though. Uh, so I got my sweatshirt on. Uh, staying warm on the bike, but it is getting a little bit nippy. Uh, I think where I'm gonna be camping tonight though is probably gonna be hot. So I should probably just enjoy this and not complain about it. So I went to the Starbucks over there and all the outlets were taken. So I came over to McDonald's instead uh, and I spent a couple hours in there working on some videos and charging my laptop. Now I'm going to go get some gas. It's uh, quarter of six now. So I got about an hour and a half of daylight. So I'm going to go get some gas and then head over to that abandoned highway set up camp for the night.
twist. I ended up in a hotel tonight. So basically I missed the exit for where I wanted to go. And the next chance to turn around was 10 miles away through a canyon that was so windy I could barely keep the bike on the road. So I decided I didn't want to turn around and go back and do that all over again. Uh, it's just super, super windy and it was just becoming unsafe. So I ended up getting a hotel instead of camping on the uh, abandoned highway like I wanted to do. So we'll have to do that on another adventure. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed this series of Southern California. I know I definitely enjoyed making it. Uh, anyways, if you got something out of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you in the next one. Ride safe.